Okay, welcome to the third video in this modeling series. Uh, this is roughly where we got up to in the last video. I've been doing a bit of work since then and this is where I'm up to now. So I'll just zoom out so you can see what's going on. Yeah. Right. There we go. So I'm just going to expand this screen so we can get a better view. You'll probably notice this looks a bit different to the last one. I've been working on the topology um, and some of the areas that we talked about before. For example, uh, I created a bit of a separation, a bit of a groove along here and all the way through. So I think last time we talked about adding a bit of a crevice along here. I've done that now and also added a vent and we're going to work on this shortly. Uh, the other thing I've been working on is I've separated this faceplate so I can just take this off now if I want to and we can have a look at the model without the faceplate. We're going to have a bit of a play with this and get this all fixed up. Uh, we're going to remove all of these triangles that we've got on here and turn them into quads. We're going to shape it around here. Uh, we'll work on that later anyway. We'll do some modeling together. I thought that might be a bit more interesting than having me just sit here and talk about what I've done and what I intend to do. So with regards to these eyebrows, I've just put a groove along here as well. And also underneath here, oh, I didn't put one under there, that's fine. I think I did that for a reason. Anyway, so I've squared off a lot of these. There's all basically all quads now. I've removed all the end gons except for some work I've been doing back here, which we're going to fix up when we add in the supporting edges and they'll all become nice quads, which is what we're after. So you see even around here, there used to be triangles. So I've tried to improve the flow on the model. So I've got all these going all the way through now, all the way down here. And when we go to put on our edges, that's going to make life a lot easier. We're going to avoid a lot of pinching, which happens quite often when you come down into a triangle. Uh, you see down here, I haven't quite finished all this off. I just started putting some edges in here. Uh, but that's going to look really good, hopefully. It's going to make life a lot easier when we go to, to add those edges in. So my topology is still not fantastic, but it's... It's a lot better than what it was. I can get away with this sort of thing on the flat edges, on the curved edge, not so much. Now, the reason I've done this is to try and bring all these edges, all these vertices, and reduce them before they hit the next edge. Uh, so that's going to make life a lot easier, uh, reduce my polygon count as much as possible. So if you want some tips on how to do this, I found this page. That shows you how to get around some topology issues you might be having. So yeah, check it out. Have a quick scroll down. Uh, it's a very good page, very good resource. Check it out. I just want to thank everyone who gave me some feedback on the last video. One thing I apparently do quite regularly is say I'm an R a lot. So I'm going to try to reduce that in this video. But I thought it might have a bit of fun with that. I'll put a counter in the top corner and we'll try to beat our last score. So if I can reduce the number of arms and R's in this video, then that's an improvement. Anyway, here we go. So I'm going to just move this back for a moment. Uh, move that back to there. Oh my goodness. What am I doing? I want this one, this one here. There we are. Move that back in. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to select this one again, hide that and move this in here along here you'll see just along here this nose is going to protrude a little bit through the faceplate but that's cool we can fix that up and we're going to do that shortly i thought we might do first is we might just work on this vent here and put another fin in there and that should be a bit of fun hopefully so let's go and do that so we're just going to create this other fin here first thing i need to do is we're going to delete yeah, that polygon there and we'll grab that edge and we're going to grab this edge and we'll just bridge that across there and starting to look like what we want it to look like grab the bottom grab that bottom edge and we'll do the same thing we'll bridge that across 
Beautiful. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get this edge and this edge here and we're going to just insert some more edges here and break this up into one, two, three, four polygons. So we'll use our connect tool. We're going to increase the edge count. There we are. And we might just move those along a little bit so they line up a bit better. There we are. And we'll fix all those up in a sec. There we go, we've got more edges. And we'll do the same on the bottom. So we'll grab that edge. Hang on, grab the right edge. Might help. Now, this is going to be interesting because I haven't actually, I can't connect those yet. That's okay. Grab that edge. Yep, beautiful. Does that go all the way along? And yes, it does. Good. And that edge, that's what we want. And we'll use our connect tool again. Same thing. Wait, we have. Why do we have four edges? If I did that there too, didn't we? That's okay, we can get rid of that. We only want three of those. This might look a bit better. And we'll just move that along a bit as well, up to there. That looks closer. Yeah, beautiful. All right. Now we're just going to, in fact, just to make things easier, I'm gonna just do that step again. So we'll get our front edge there, back edge, and connect. And that's pretty well lined up, that'll do. And then we can bridge all this again. All right, all right so what we're gonna do, it's going to move that down a bit. I've got face constraint on, turn that off, move that down. Now I want to target world, that vertice either there, there we go. And we're going to do that along all of these. And now we can actually go along and we can bridge these holes here. So we'll select our edge here, that one, that one, and that one, and that one, that one, and that one. And we're just going to bridge that. There we go. Beautiful. And now we have finished those fins. One other thing I might do while we're here is just grab these vertices along here. That's it. Just those two. Now we'll just make those line up. Let's just get this view here. I've got a bit of lag. That's interesting. All right, that's better. And we want these to line up with those fins. So we'll put our edge constraints on and bring that down here. Don't take it too far. In fact, I might just take that off and try again. That seems to be limiting us a bit this time. That's much better. Wahoo! Maybe slightly up. There we are. Beautiful. And that's it. We now have more fins. And everything is nicely connected up. Except I don't want to move that around. I do want to do this. Here we are. Let's have a look what that looks like. Now this, put my turbo smooth modifier on. And that's the back of the render. Now that'll look much better once we put our supporting edges on. But you get the idea. So now we've got fins on there, which is what we wanted. Select the right window, that might help. That's much better. There we are. 